Jens, a really important point on the road this afternoon. How do you reflect on the team's performance? Yeah, um, we, we expected Aston Villa uh, to give a lot of pressure on us. And uh, absolutely this happened um, at the first 20 minutes. So we were a little bit, uh, yeah, uh, have to uh, work hard in the defence. But there are, I, I couldn't see some really big chances for, for Aston Villa. They were the better team, had more in positioning, absolutely. Um, but not the, the big, big chance to score. And then we, uh, yeah, we considered our own goal can happen. Maybe we should be more brave to defend the set pieces at that, at that moment. But um, yeah, I think in the half time um, we have to change the formation. We we we, uh, we uh, left the the three four three, going to a four uh, two three one, and um, then the goals did it really really well. Uh, I saw I saw. Uh, 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 Albion team, um, which were at the second half the better team, and for me it, the point is really deserved. So um, it's not a question that we st have ha had stolen a point. So we, uh, yeah, we, we, um, it was fair. I think the draw was fair, and uh, so we take this point. It's a, a massive point for us because we know the situation and the and the. And the on the table. Uh, Aston Villa is a really, really good team with really good individual players. I know this and the team know, uh, knows this. But we were a, a really strong team, a really strong connection and, and you can see it. And uh, yeah, um, we are defending together and we are attacking together and um, we are really on a good way. And does this result go to show that we're taking another step in the right direction to compete against teams of this calibre? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, game day is cash day. So, uh, uh, if you can catch a, a point in this situation, yeah, we will, we will, we will take it. Um, it, it doesn't depend uh, 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 which opponent is coming. So, um, but for me, I'm really satisfied that we all can, um, yeah, on playing on the level like Aston Villa, because Aston Villa has with the Rachel Daly, uh, Casey Daly, with the Hanson, with with all these players, massive and absolute quality on the pitch it's amazing i think they can can beat every team in the wsl uh, so i'm very happy that we uh, yeah uh, going here from uh, aston villa with a point and a lot of resilience shown by the girls to to get the the equalizing goal and, and get a point a very key point at the end of the game um no in the, in the half time we said we should be brave because for my uh, opinion, we weren't brave enough. Um, um, yeah, so this was the, the, the main thing we, we talked with them. Should be brave. Should be. They are great uh, uh, footballers, but uh, they have to be brave and to believe in our own strengths. And uh, in the second half, they showed showed her her, her um, re the, the the true face of, of, of uh, uh, every single person. And so I'm really happy. And uh, this is for me. Um, yeah, the message uh, we, we will we change the mentality, so we are not um, going back and de are depressed or something else. Uh, if we are scoring, uh, if we're considering a goal, so now we're thinking, okay, how we want to to take a point or, or three points here, and so this was my attitude in the second half. If we come together because uh, there was a foul situation, and uh, the the physios has to go in, I said if we. Uh, staying brave, we will win this game 100% because I believe in my team and uh, I believe in the strength of my team.